to the show. As you can see, we have a ton of new snow. We got 12 inches last night, and I've gotten the driveway cleared out, but I figured this would be a perfect opportunity to talk about the metal roof and whether you should put snow breakers, snow stops, or nothing on there. So, me personally, I hate the thought of putting snow breakers or snow stops on my roof. And the question is, will it rip off your gutters? And I've been around post frame buildings for a long time, and none of the buildings that I have owned or um, that my dad has owned, I've never seen the gutters get ripped off by snow, and we've never had snow stops or um, snow breakers on them. With that being said, there are some things that you need to think about. And I decided this winter I would not do anything on this house and just see kind of what the snow does and um, try to figure out if there's any place that I would want them. And I have determined that. So, as you can see, the roof today, some of this snow has already come off here, here, right along there. And then while I was recording, a bunch of snow came off the main roof and it came off so fast that it missed the porch and landed way out here. So I have six inch gutters on my house and that means they stick up a little bit so that snow does hit them. And the thing I have found out this winter, if it's cold when it snows and that snow is powdery and light, it comes off pretty quickly. Um, it doesn't stay up there super long. It'll slide off. And when it slides off, it comes off super fast and shoots out really far. On the other hand, it, if, if it's a wet snow, it will tend to stay on the roof until it just slowly melts off. And the gutters actually kind of hold the snow up there. One thing you want to consider is when you're putting your fascia boards on is you want to make sure that um, they are very well fastened into the end of your trusses. And I use screws. I'll put screws through my fascia boards into my trusses to make sure those things are rock solid. And then when the gutters go up, I make sure there is a uh, fastener every 12 inches. If you do that, your gutters should withstand this snow. Now, I know I've heard nightmare stories from other people, but from my experience, um, I've had good luck and never had gutters ripped off the house as long as your fascia board is attached correctly and securely, and then your gutter has enough fasteners in it to hold it to that solid fascia board. And we even try to hit the end of the trusses with uh, those fasteners as well. So keep that in mind. Um, another thing to consider is if you're having a porch around your house, you want to make sure you put three quarter inch plywood on the top of that and you can see from my porch roof right now the way the snow was coming last night it was piling up here on this porch now when the snow slid off and it was light powdery snow it missed the porch altogether but if it's wet and heavy and it comes off it's going to land on the porch and you want to make sure you have something good and solid on your porch um, to withstand that snow falling off the main roof. So, now one thing that people that put my gutter up said they wouldn't warranty the gutters unless I put snow stops or snow breakers on the roof. Um, but I'm willing to take that chance. I think they're going to stand up there just fine. And from what I've seen this winter, um, I believe that to be true. The so. only place I'm going to end up putting snow stops is above the front garage door and the rear garage door and that is just merely so somebody doesn't walk out and catch a pile of snow on the head because you could seriously get hurt so just doing that for safety but that's very minimal size bars that I have to put up I just don't like the look of them and I don't like the fact that I got a, a bunch of extra screws in my roof creating more penetration so all right guys, so there's a couple different options and one is snow bars and I'm sure if you're familiar with post frame, you're familiar with those. They're just literally a bar that goes across the top of your ribs 
that keeps the snow from sliding off your roof. So they're going to hold the snow on there um, until it um, until it melts off. Now, if it's really light and powdery snow and you only have a row across the bottom, there is a chance that light powdery snow could get enough momentum that it could push over that bar, similar to what it does to my gutters that stick up uh, above the bottom edge of the roof. Now, your other option is these snow breakers, and these are probably the most visually appealing, in my opinion, because they're clear. The thing that I don't necessarily like about them is they take four screws and then you have to put a sealant underneath them. So they would basically sit up every other section. So basically they'd be, uh, let's see, 18 inches on center and then they get screwed up like this. And then when the snow comes down and hits this point, it basically breaks it up. Hence the name snow breaker. Now these are not going to hold the snow on your roof if it comes off. So like I said, I'm just gonna put the snow bars above the doors where it's a safety issue. But this video was not intended for me to tell you, hey, don't put snow breakers or snow stops on your roof. This video is intended to show you what I've, uh, I have done up to this point and to share my experience with you. I would love to hear your guys' opinion about this. I'd love to hear your stories, whether they're good or they're bad. Have you had bad experiences? And if so, kind of what were the details, like the size of your roof, the pitch of your roof? Was it heavy snow, light snow? Because I would love to learn more. Um, that way I can help more people. So my goal for this winter was not to do anything and just take the chance based on my past experience and so far it's worked out pretty good. Now that doesn't mean five years down the road we could have some storm that rips my gutters off. So um, I will definitely let you guys know if I have any negative experiences. Um, but up to this point we've had heavy wet snow this year and we've had light powdery snow this year and I have not had any damage to my gutters up to this point. So if you got anything to say about this leave your comments below. Subscribe, hit that bell for notifications, share us with your friends, and we will catch you on the next video.